the narcissist would rather die first than be publicly humiliated. That's why every thought and every action is carefully orchestrated like an international jewel thief who's planning to steal a $30 million diamond. Nothing is left to chance because failure is not an option. They know where the security cameras are, what time the guards are going to take their breaks, breaks etc. That's exactly how the narcissist has anticipated your every move. They also read every room they're in to predict how people will react. Like a great comedian that knows the perfect joke to tell to get everyone to laugh. Now, if you've ever witnessed this, you know that it turns your stomach you want to vomit in your mouth because you know the truth. You know the person working the room is a straight up con artist. They are, <laughs> while they are stealing your wallet. Cause soon as you get in that car on that drive home, you know the complaining, the raging, the accusations will start about what you did wrong. And of course you have no idea what in the world are you talking about? But guess what? You apologize just the same like a true empath would to try and keep the peace. But guess what? It never does. But in order for the narc's facade to work, everyone has to play their part. Meaning they're counting on you to not reveal the truth about how the magician does their trick. Yes, how do we pull that rabbit out of a hat and cut somebody in half? And there's no blood. But what happens when the truth is revealed and the narc is naked and exposed in plain sight? Who utter and complete meltdown. And there's no recovering from it. Oh, no. See, when they send those flying monkeys to you, to speak to you on their behalf and they going in on you and talking about why are you treating them this way? Why are you doing that? Play that audio or that video recording of them yelling at you for hours, calling you every name in the book and threatening you. Show the avalanche of text messages, cussing you out in three different languages. The narc will just want to crawl in a dark hole Oh my God, it never come out because they can't take the spotlight, can't take being exposed. Then to really close the door and then nail it shut, go no contact. Ain't no coming back from that. Now, you may say, Doc, listen, I don't think I could do that. See, this, you talking about exposing them, that's just not in my nature. Well, listen. The narc exposes you every chance they get. They tell people what you're not doing and how you did this. But guess what? That's a lie. So if they exposing you and they are lying, is it not okay for you to expose with the truth? Listen, if you're struggling with it, don't worry about it. Go to my website, ChristopherReed.org. Schedule your free 30-minute consultation. You and I, we're going to have a conversation. And I'm going to tell you how coaching is going to help you reveal the narc's true color. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share. Y'all take care. Peace.